Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for hitting that play button. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're back in the Chevrolet Corvette C8. What a fantastic car this is. I love doing videos in this car. Real quick, let's get to the subject of this video. Today I wanna to talk about some of the coming features and changes for the 2024 Corvette C8 model year. I just love when they start adding stuff. And what I like about Chevrolet is that they listen to their customers. I mean, when we talk about certain things, um, they listen and then they try to implement as best as they can. I remember when I was out at the Bass last year, I was in a meeting with some of the engineers, Josh Holder was there. They were asking, what do we like about the new Corvette C8? And then they asked, what are some of the changes that we'd like to see in the upcoming model years? So that was pretty cool. I mean, I like that. They, they listen to their customers. They try as best as they can. So let's get into it. So coming up for the 2024 model year, some of the changes. The caffeine color, which a lot of people kind of didn't like. Some people didn't like. I thought that it was actually pretty cool. I mean the color yeah it's like a brown but it has some flake in it it's like a it's like a maroon a, a dark maroon that's what it looks like to me but the flake in it is incredible so i really really like that color i know it wasn't as popular and i know that's probably why they're getting rid of it. so that is one of the changes that they're changing for the 2024 corvette model year next up one of my favorites, I am so happy that they're implementing this, is they're adding soft clothes to the front of the C8. Fantastic. Oh, I was so happy. I love that the rear hatch has a soft clothes function. And I'm so happy that they're bringing it to the front. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Number two, the automatic emergency braking they're adding that for the 2024 which i think is fantastic i like the safety features i think that it's it's not a bad thing if it's to keep the car you and whoever else on the road safe add it add it add it add it as long as it's not too intrusive into the way we drive the car it's fine for me safety first number three front pedestrian braking period Somebody walks out in front of you, the car's gonna break. Cool, we don't wanna hit anybody. That's one of my biggest, biggest fears is that you're driving down a residential area and a kid runs out in the street, chasing a ball or whatever, and you happen to hit him. That's just horrible, horrible, horrible. That's why whenever you're driving through a residential area, Take your time, take it slow. You know, keep your head on the swivel. Watch out for kids maybe coming out in front of you. I mean, dude, that's horrible. That is freaking horrible. So yeah, I like that that feature's coming. Number four, forward collision alert. So I guess that's if the car, you know, senses something in front of you, um, it'll automatically start to try to brake for you. Or it'll have something on your screen that'll come up. It may even come up on the heads up display as well that'll alert you that there's something getting really, really close to the vehicle. So that's pretty cool. Number five, following distance indicator. That'll be something on the screen as well, tell you the distance of whatever's in front of you, how far away it is, which is pretty cool as well. Number six, lane keep assist with lane keep departure warning. This is something that I think is great. Let's say you're driving at night, you're going on a trip or whatever, you're kind of tired and you're not as focused as you need to be. And you start, you're turning, you start not realizing that you're, you know, swerving out of your lane. So that's a good function. It'll alert you, it'll tell you that you uh, are venturing out into the other lane. It may even vibrate on the steering wheel. 
So I think that's a cool thing too, because it actually alerts you so that you know, hey, either you need to pull over and take a break, or you need to pay attention more. You are veering out of your lane. So I love that safety feature as well. Number seven, IntelliBeam Auto High Beam Assist. I think that is fantastic. I love it. So let's say you're on a dark road at night and you have your high beams on because you want to be able to see in front of you the road and everything. And then there's a car coming towards you. Now the C8 for 2024 will be able to auto dim those lights because it senses that there's a car coming towards you. And then when that car passes you, the lights will go back to high beam automatically. I think that is fantastic. I love that they're bringing that feature to the C8. And number eight, last but not least, they're adding a new see-through engine cover for the convertibles for 2024. Everybody's been talking about it. Every time I go to a car show, you know, the C8 Corvette guys are, you know, raising their hatch and they want you to see their engine. Well, they want to display it, which I understand. Corvette C8 Coupes, we can pop our hood. You can see our engine in all its glory. You can see um, if we want to do carbon fiber in the rear, we can dress it up any kind of way we want. It is the heart of the engine and you want to showcase it as much as possible. So I like that Chevrolet is bringing it to the convertible guys, giving them the option to be able to have that so they can pop their cover and you'll be able to see their engine. Uh, I wish it was a little bit bigger because you can't really see everything. Uh, like some of these other companies I've seen where they, it's like a plexiglass, the whole engine bay is plexiglass and you can see everything. I like that much, much more. Now this one Chevrolet is offering right now that they're actually bringing out as an option. Uh, it may be an early version because it, it's just a small slit in the top where you can actually see the engine cover only. And that's it. You can't see any other parts of the engine bay. It's all blacked out. So maybe they're going to do something different. I don't know. Like I said before, I don't care. I just like that Chevrolet is listening to its customers. This is another example of that. They hear you and they're saying, hey, for the convertible guys, let's offer this as an option. I like that. At least they're listening. They're trying to be more receptive to different ideas for the Corvette C8. So I like that. I really wanted to put this video out so I could talk to you guys about what all the different options and changes that are coming up for the 2024 C8 model year. I think it's fantastic. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the share button. If you want to share the video, it really helps out. It helps out the channel. Also, if you like to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new videos. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.